y'all my loves thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be on the most effective anti-aging skincare ingredients so if you're interested then just keep watching so i just wanted to stop in here really fast and talk about a few skincare ingredients that i feel are the most effective especially when you're trying to build an anti-aging skincare routine and i know that term is just kind of a little irritating to some because you know in theory the term anti-aging means not to age but i totally understand that we all are aging uh, the uh in the whole idea behind the anti-aging movement is to better preserve or to take care of what we have so i just wanted to get in here and talk about some of these ingredients and these would be ingredients you know you could incorporate in your morning routine in your evening routine or maybe you um, want to incorporate it in a once or twice a week mask that you have just as long as you incorporate it somewhere in your skincare routine and to just to give you a little background on myself I'm 49 years old and I have relatively normal skin I may get a little oily in my t-zone and I typically don't get irritated easily and if I try a product and it irritates me then I'm gonna let you all know that if it's irritating my skin maybe something's wrong with it I like to try a lot of products on my channel so I can come to you all and just kind of give you my thoughts on it how it worked now is that to say that every ingredient that I share in this video or in any skincare ingredient that I share on my channel is that to say that it's going to work for everybody definitely not that's why I just wanted to kind of give you a little history on myself and my skin type and I have for the past four or five years been into the entire anti-aging movement so you could very well go back and see some of those older videos although uh, they they really do make me cringe but anyway enough about that let's go ahead and get into the first ingredient now this first one is definitely not an ingredient the reason I'm throwing this in there is because it's really important to use a sunscreen because it kind of defeats the purpose if you're going to have this entire elaborate skincare routine uh, where you've invested all kinds of money or not you know you don't have to have ex expensive skincare and products for them to work but you've invested all this time and effort um, into taking care of your skin even with the makeup that you use or you know the ingredients that you're looking um, for in your makeup products you go through all this trouble and then you don't protect it so um, that's one thing everybody needs in their skincare routine so the next one is collagen and you kind of want to think of collagen as uh, the springs in a mattress that's probably the easiest way I can describe it so you know how when you first get your mattress it's very bouncy it's very soft it's just perfect and then as the years go by you know it becomes less bouncy pretty soon it kind of gets saggy you all know what I'm talking about you can think of collagen like like that and we normally produce collagen but over time collagen slows down and that's where we need a little help so it is a good idea to have collagen somewhere in your skincare routine I like to incorporate them in mask or a serum but however you choose to would be awesome so the next one I want to talk about is ceramides so you can think of ceramides as lipids that are going to keep your skin barrier strong Strong. these are the things that's going to that are going to keep the hydration in and all of the pollutants out you can kind of think of it like that kind of like um, a shield you know you let's say uh, a berry you put Vaseline on your skin and then uh, run some water over it and it's just gonna slip off it, it's going to I guess that would be a good would that be a good example but ceramides are basically lipids that are going to protect your skin it's going to keep all of the hydration in keep all the good stuff that you want in and keep all of the bad stuff out so ceramides if you see that a product has ceramides in it definitely 
definitely know that that's a good ingredient to have in a good anti-aging skincare routine. All right, so next I wanna get into acids. And don't cringe, I'm not talking about that kind of acid, you know, the kind that burn your skin off and it's horrible, you know, you wanna run from. I'm talking about glycolic acid, lactic acid and hyaluronic acid. I'm going to start with glycolic acid and glycolic acid has the smallest molecular structure. So that one's pretty much going to penetrate deepest within your skin. And just to kind of move back a little bit into the collagen, glycolic acid is going to boost the effect of collagen. So those would be two ingredients to incorporate together. But glycolic acid, it's going to slough away those de dead skin and it's going to slough away those dead skin cells over time and just have you looking very smooth. But remember, and I forgot to say this in the beginning, whenever you do start your skincare routine, make sure to use it consistently. Once you find something and you know products that work for you, make sure you use them consistently because that's the key in order to see results amongst other things and i'm going to get into that video really soon but always remember you want to use things consistently and then lastly about glycolic acid there's a bit of a caveat as with anything like i said in the beginning glycolic acid has been shown to irritate people with sensitive skin so i would suggest if you really want to use a product with glycolic acid to do a patch test you know see how your skin is going to react or you might want to check with your dermatologist before you incorporate it in your skincare routine but just know that if you have sensitive skin you 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 need to exercise caution with the glycolic acid so the next one that i want to talk about is lactic acid and this particular acid is derived from milk and studies suggest that lactic acid helps to increase the skin's natural moisturization so if you have really dry skin this would be a really good acid to try it is derived from milk however it will make you more sensitive to the sun so if you're going to use it please make sure that you have a really really good sunscreen on all right and the last alpha hydroxy acid that i want to talk about is hyaluronic acid and with this acid everybody loves this acid well just about everybody i have had people comment in older videos saying that they don't like it it doesn't work for them you know so i would say um, a lot of people like it but that you can just pretty much think of hyaluronic acid as providing moisture to the skin uh, think of it as a sponge it's going to suck up all the moisture and lock it into place and just really keep your skin very hydrated and what's really cool about hyaluronic acid is that our body produces it it's a naturally occurring sugar that we produce in our body up until about the age of 20 and then you know things start <laughs> trickling down with that but remember with hyaluronic acid you already have to have moisture on your face so if you're face is already dry or you it's not damp or you haven't used an essence or provided some type of hydration already then it's not going to work because it pulls moisture from already dampened skin but it's a great product to have i love it and if you've never tried hyaluronic acid i would say to try it out and see how you like it all right so the next one i want to talk about is an oil and it is the jojoba oil and i know that oils can be you know that can be tricky i know some of you all are probably side eyeing me but the one that i think is most effective in an anti-aging skincare routine is probably the jojoba oil and this particular oil is biomimetic and what that means is is that it mimics the oils that we already produce in our body this oil is going to be non-comedogenic it's not going to clog your pores um, uh, least likely to also least likely to cause irritation it also has vitamin E in it which suggests that it may have some antioxidant properties and it's also an anti-inflammatory so it could be good if you have um, uh, redness or any type of irritation and I'm not talking about like when you use the oil if you do decide it I'm not talking about getting a lot of it it just psh, 
slapping, you know, just slathering it all over your face. You know, just get a droplet and rub it in and pat it on your face. And I would use it at night. But either way, in my opinion, I think that that's probably uh, the most effective uh, anti-aging skincare oil that's out there. And the last one that I want to talk about is vitamin C. So vitamin C can help with three main issues with your skin. If you have any type of darkness or hyperpigmentation, vitamin C is your guy. If you have issues with a lot of free radicals and you need those neutralized, which if you go out or if you're just living, you're going to have some issues with free radicals. Vitamin C is your guide to just come in and neutralize the effect of that. And I've got a whole video. I need to go back and look in my archive. I'm actually kind of proud of that video, but I go into extreme detail about the whole free radical thing. But if you have issues with that, so definitely vitamin C is your guide. And then it also helps to stimulate collagen production. So you got the stimulate collagen production, you have um, helping with hyperpigmentation or dark spots and neutralizing free radicals. But remember sunlight can kind of render vitamin C inactive. So whenever you have a vitamin C product, you want to make sure it's in a dark bottle once you get it stored in a dark cool place because that can really just mess up the product and you if you if you if you see a vitamin c product and it's in a clear container uh, you might want to side eye that just kind of make sure that when you make your purchase make sure it's in an opaque bottle a dark bottle and then when you get it stored in a dark cool place so that's it. Those are the ingredients that I feel are most effective in an anti-aging skincare routine. Let me know what are your favorite ingredients to use in your anti-aging skincare routine. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.